it's been welcomed by the market. Yes, so what, far. What's the excitement about this particular business? Because there are other, there's Poshmark and the like, there's right. um, other competitors that help you get secondhand clothing, but this one's far more luxurious. Is that the takeaway? Um, maybe people believe in the authentication process a little bit more and it has some scale, but it's that process that also makes us a little bit concerned as to the profitability of the company because mm -hmm. it's very expensive to authenticate a purse or a piece of jewelry and if you return it, they have to re-authenticate it. So it's a business that I think even if you implement technology, I think it could be hard to scale. It could be expensive to scale. And when so, you say authenticated, what, someone's sitting there trying so to So if, I'm, sure if I'm the person who's giving, let's say, a Chanel bag to right. the real real, they are going to authenticate it and say, this is a real but how? Chanel bag through their experts. And okay. they have gemologists for the jewelry. And so really? they go and have this process, and then they sell it, and then they get a portion of it, and the person who gave the product gets a portion of it. So how do you actually scale this up? I mean, it's just used clothing, right? And at some point, I, I mean, to grow this business, especially as a public company, yes. we know the demands of investment. Yes. Every quarter, they want to see more and yes. more growth. Where, where does that growth come from? So I think initially, it's just sort of because the market is so fragmented, they can get that share. But if you think longer term, how many Chanel bags does one person maybe have to consign, right? So at, at, you're still relying on the public to not want their secondhand goods. And I suppose there's always a market for it, but I think it might get harder mm. and harder. But in this case, in the near term, it's about market share gains and they have that scale to do so. But you're right, as a public company, we're all going to be wondering where's the next leg of growth coming from. And we've been fascinated about the history behind this business yeah. and indeed the history behind the chief executive because Judy Wainwright was a CEO of a business perhaps not bathed in glory. Uh, Pets.com. Yeah. Yes, from another era, um, which is interesting given that Chewy.com went public yeah. just a couple of weeks ago. Um, I don't think that has not been a concern that I've actually heard about from investors in today's market. I think it's more about the opportunity. You know, when people look at these tech companies, these consumer tech companies, like who can get out there first and get share and hope with the hope that eventually you'd be like Amazon and you don't have to worry about profitability until you get that scale. Oh, okay. All right. You know, you can shop <laughs> Carmelo Anthony's closet on this thing. I have heard that. Is it just his? So, well, they have other anyone else? Yeah. Other celebrities on there. Maybe we'll get Caroline's closet on there. <laughs> oh, I'm not enough of a celebrity, but you're quite taken with his. <laughs>